You are now listening to the I Am Teflon John podcast show, where my job is to inspire you and change lives by provoking thought. Previously on the I Am Teflon John podcast show. Put you into a better mode for preparation. Allow fear to make you listen. Allow fear to drive you to become better. And, you know, um, I'm, I'm really feeling this topic because a lot of people, I think, are stuck at jobs. A lot of people are stuck in relationships that they don't want to be in. A lot of people are not in relationships. A lot of people are not um, living in the houses that they should be living in um, because they live in fear. Teflon John. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Teflon John, coming to you courtesy of the I Am Teflon John podcast show, where my job is to inspire you mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. In this episode, we're just going to talk about it's a new year and it should be a new you. That's right. I said it. It's a new year and it should be a new you. So what I'm going to do is just sit back and give you tips and give you ideas, just provoke thought and how you can become a new you in this new year. Now, first of all, we're going to ditch all the New Year's resolutions, right? Because, I'm, you know, New Year's resolutions can become to the point where they get a bit cliche and they become a bit familiar, you know, with conversations where you say it and you don't really mean it because you're not going to put in the work for it. And then by March, you know, everything's gone. You forget then in November we do Turkey and um, December we do gifts and then it's back to the New Year's resolution. And then March we forget about it. And in November we do Turkey and it becomes a cycle. Right. So for most people, they've been living this New Year's resolution cycle for years. You know what I'm saying? They join the gym. They go two months and they still have the money debited out their account every month. So what I want to do is just look, we're just going to talk about goals. For tip number one, we're just going to talk about goals. That's it. That's it. We're just going to talk about goals, right? So it's a new year. How to become a new you? Set goals. Forget resolutions, set goals, right? So you want to have goals that you got to, that keep you honest. You want to have goals that's going to keep you striving, keep you pushing. And you want to have goals that are challenge you, right? And amongst making those goals, every big goal breaks down into small goals. And you want to have goals that allow you to build that confidence. So look, you want goals that are challenge you, but at the same time, you want to set some small, simple goals that you can achieve to help build that confidence. Because I'm telling you, if you start the new year right by accomplishing small goals, now you're going to start off a habit of achievement. You're going to start off a habit, a habit of, you know, getting that self gratification that you can do something. And once you start that, I guarantee you, you're going to set on that path where you're going to knock down some some big goals that you are going to do some big things. I'm telling you, because when you look at it, when you look at everything that you can do, when you look at everything that you want to do, sometimes what you can do and what you want to do haven't met up yet. You know what I'm saying? So your ability hasn't met your potential. But when you set these goals and you sit down and you map out a plan, and that's another part of it, you must sit down and map out a plan and set a and set a day weekly where you sit down and you just revisit your goals and see where you are. Because if you're not tracking your goals, if you're not tracking the progress of your goals, you're not even going to know if you're achieving them, you know? So... You know, always keep that in mind that you have to set goals this year. Forget the resolutions. Number two, I would say tip number two for a new year, new you would be you got to check your circle. You got to check your circle. Right. So while we sitting here, think and look back to last year. Look at all the drama last year, all the ups and downs last year, all the good times, all the bad times. And just look at the people that were around you. Right. And a lot of times the people are around us. They, let me see how to say this. They they don't mean us any good. You know what I mean? They're just there taking up space. You know what I'm saying? They're there for entertainment. A lot of those people just want to go out, club, have a good time. No one's there to push you. This year, you owe it to yourself to surround yourself with good people. You see what I'm saying? You owe it to surround yourself 
with good people, right? And then people that's going to inspire you and people that are going to keep you um, held accountable to reaching your goals and doing the right thing. Because I'm telling you, life is getting shorter and shorter and you are getting older and older and you're getting too old not to have goals and be knocking things out. It's, 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 it's no excuse for, you know what I'm saying, you to have on the latest pair of Jordans or you to have, you know, the latest, you know what I'm saying, 90 to to $100 pair of denim jeans. And your credit score is a 550, a 500, a 498. It's time that we grow up this year, right? Hang around people that's got their credit straight and ask them, how did you do that? Hang around people that's investing their money into stock and bonds and, you know, into different ventures and getting money and ask the question, how did you do that? I'm telling you, if you hang around five smart people, you're going to be the sixth one. If you hang around five rich people, you're going to be the sixth one. If you hang around five dumb people, you're bound to be the sixth one. I'm telling you, birds of a feather flock together. So if you wonder why you aren't where you want to be or you aren't elevated, just look at who you hanging around. Look at who's with you all the time. You know what I mean? You know, they even say that once you hang with a person long enough that you begin to look like them, I think you begin to act and think like them as well. So if they don't want anything out of life, you're not going to want anything out of life. And a lot of times when you check in that circle, right, some people do not want you to be better than them. I'm telling you, some people do not want you to be better than them, whether it be in a relationship. You may have a good relationship, a good marriage or whatever. And they're going through the rocks and they always got drama. And guess what? Now, you've always got drama because I'm telling you, they've made their drama your drama. A lot of people aren't satisfied. You know what I'm saying? But you you let them get a boot thing. You let them get a man or a woman. You won't see them. Ghosts like Patrick Swayze. You know, but look, you, I'm telling you, check the people that you're around because notice if you're around four people that's always talking about entrepreneurship and getting their own business guess what it starts to rub off on you so if you're around four people that's talking about gossip and clubbing guess what it rubs off on you so remember that tip number two was talking about checking your circle now tip number three is just the fact of investing in yourself because you owe it to yourself Right now, a lot of times you, you may go the whole year and not buy yourself anything. Don't do that. Work some overtime. You got to reward yourself. Treat yourself. And when I'm talking about investing in yourself, I'm talking about taking money that you would normally blow on dumb stuff. You know, one weekend going out to the club. Sometimes you got to buy the ticket like 20 to 30 bucks to get in. Sometimes more. You got to buy a new fresh set of kicks, a new fresh um, set of shoes or sneakers or whatever you wear, a new outfit and jeans. So sometimes that one night can cost you about 150 depending on what you have on. And then you're going to go in there. Most people are going to drink. They're going to turn up and they don't turn up for themselves. They turn up to see other people watch them turn up. So you're looking at one night could be two hundred fifty dollars. So add that up within a year's time. If you're doing that two to three times a month. Right. Take that money. And invest that into your goal, whatever your goal is, you know, so that way when you want to do, you can do because you're actually providing a, a, an atmosphere that's going to provide for you financially. You know what I'm saying? So take that money and invest in yourself, whether it's a craft, whether it's learning a new trade, whether it's gaining new knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Take that money and invest in yourself. Now, tip number four is going to be gain new knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Always set to gain new knowledge. You want to learn something new. You want to start reading books. And a lot of people that don't read books, right? Um, I'm not a big reader, but I'm starting to do audio books. But what I'm noticing is whenever you're reading a book, right? Imagine going through life and every time you've had to learn through hard experience. If you could have just watched someone else, right? It would have been easier. So you take somebody's book and they're taking all these experiences and all these hard times that they've learned from. And then you can download all them years of experience. You can download it in the time it takes you to read the book, whether it be a week, whether it be three days, whether it be one day just listening to it. You can download 12 years of someone's life experience within a week. That's how you gain knowledge. You see what I'm saying? It's got to be about empowerment. And I know a lot of people are not into it, but I'm telling you, everybody that wants to be rich don't want to put the work in. I'm going to say it again. Everybody that wants to be rich does not want to put the work in. And I, and you just at the point now where I'm telling you, you got to surround yourself with those people. 
You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to an investing yourself and gaining new knowledge, a lot of times the people you're around and make you feel uncomfortable that you want to learn more. You know, but if you're intrigued, if you're learning, you know what I'm saying? It's going to open up your mind. It's going to give you trades and new opportunity to bring more finances in your house to bless your family. Because now you're gaining new knowledge, you're gaining new skills, you're gaining new trades, you know. And when we're talking about that, you know, we're talking about gaining new knowledge. You got to apply that knowledge. You know, Novocaine only works when applied. You can have Novocaine sitting in the tube. You can have, you know, the most terrible toothache you ever had. But until you apply the Novocaine, it doesn't work. Right. So uh, tip number five, we're going to we're going to keep it moving. You know, this is a new year, a new you. Um, tip number five will have to be if I had to give you another tip. On how to become a new you. Tip number five is going to be. You got to reinvent the way you think. You must reinvent the way you think. And here's why. A lot of times in life. Right. We think a certain way because of what we perceive. Right. And if you perceive everything that's happening to you. As bad. Whoa it's me. You know. Why me Lord. You know what I'm saying. You're not going to be able to move on from this situation. But if you perceive it as what are you trying to teach me. What are you trying to give me. You know what tool. What what can I. How can I use this in my in my benefit. You know what I'm saying. The glass is always half full. Not half empty. You know what I'm saying. You you always got to look at. You know I'm trying. I almost did. Not I didn't finish. So. And always try to reinvent the way you're thinking because the way you're thinking, your thoughts, I'm telling you, your thoughts can control and affect your whole mood for the entire day. Your thoughts is what you think about people. Sometimes you can mess up a relationship, whether it be with a family member, girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse, whatever, because you're assuming and thinking what they're thinking. And they're not even thinking that you may think they have an attitude with you or they're upset with you. So you don't talk. And then you're both upset with each other. So stop assuming and, and, and just use your perception. Like when you're going through something hard, think about how can this help me where I'm trying to go? I have this big goal, but how can this hard time, how can this hardship that I'm going through help me? You know what I'm saying? Um, tip number six. I would have to say tip number six would have to be reinvent yourself. Right. Don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. Now, new year, new you. A lot of people try to uh, lose weight and, you know, a lot of people really focus on, you know, going to the gym. But no one's really focusing on reinventing themselves mentally, their style, because in order for you to do something you haven't done before, you have to become someone you're not. Right. And sometimes you're becoming that person that you were intended to be. By the time you prune, the, you know, you prune the tree, which is get a, get you know, get away from the knuckleheads. You know what I'm saying? And now you gain a new knowledge. You, you, you're investing in yourself for the new year. You know what I'm saying? So, and now you're changing the way you think. So now when it comes to becoming a new you, you think different. You talk different. You want different things out of life. You have a passion for what's going on around you. You know, always strive to, to, to do something new. And look, and don't knock change. You know, there's nothing wrong with change or reinvention. It's only, it's only something wrong with the people who see something wrong with you changing. Because a lot of people feel like if you change and they want to remain the same, that you won't be there. And I hope and I hope that that you won't, because a lot of times you're afraid to get in advance because these people are, will be left behind. Sometimes you got to leave them. You got to get blessed and get somewhere in order to come back and help them and, and bring them out. You know, um, tip number six. I would have to say tip number six goes along with everything that we've been talking about. After we said tip number five was re to uh, don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. I would say tip number six is be honest with yourself, too. If you want to be a, uh, having a happier new year and being a new you, be honest with yourself. You know when you're not giving a hundred percent effort. You know when you can do better. You know when you're wrong, and you know when you're right. So admit and be honest with yourself when you're wrong. You need to correct stuff to improve relationships. You know you know when you can put forth a little bit more effort. You know work some overtime at the job, provide more for your family. You um you you know when you can give more. You know, but I think that honesty in the new year is going to help you because it's going to help you actually forgive yourself, right? 
And when we talk about other tips, we're going to talk about your health, right? Try to improve your health. And when is when I when, when I mean improve your health, the biggest tip I can tell you is develop a relationship with your doctor and get your checkups. And what I mean is develop a relationship with your doctor where you actually know him and trust him to tell him what's going on. Because a lot of people have insurance and they don't get checkups. You know, and doing a checkup, a routine yearly checkup, a lot of things can be caught that can save your life. A lot of things doing a routine checkup can be caught that will save your life through blood work, urine analysis, physical checkup, and just conversation. Hey, doc, this is how I'm feeling. So you must take your health, um, you must take your health very seriously because a lot of people are dying of cancer and a lot of autoimmune diseases, for example, diabetes, arthritis, thyroidism, due to the fact that they don't know and they're not taking care of themselves. So when it comes to gaining new knowledge, you have to you, you, you have to equip yourself with the knowledge that you need to combat your health. You know what I'm saying? You have to fight for your health. And that's going to help. Once you become healthy, you'll be able to travel more. You'll be able to think more clearly. You know, it's, it, you're, you're, you're not a burden on your family. And so with that being said, you know, being a healthier you is going to help you. It's going to impact you a lot this year, you know. But I want you to keep in mind that a new year, a new you can be done. You can become a new person, right? And so other tips, right? You you want to... You want to try to patch up your relationship with your boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever and just realize and think, is this for me? Is this bringing me is this bringing me up or is this bringing me down? Like if you're with somebody and it's bringing you down and it's weighing you down, you you, you got to cut it. You want to spend the whole year, 365 days being drugged down by somebody that you don't want to be with. So just sit back and think about that. Like, am I wasting my time? Am I wasting my life? The time I have left, right? Everybody is given an expiration date by God, I believe, when you're born. Like, God knows the day that you will come back home to him. He knows the day you will die. Well, we don't know that. But we tend to sit back and live life like we have 10,000 years to live. And we dwell and we get involved in stuff that just eats away our, at our youth or eats away at our time. But the reality is we don't know the day we're going home. So you must live your life loose. And I'm not talking about going to the club. I'm talking about being entangled and being in bondage. So if you're with somebody, you feel like you're in bondage. You don't want to be with them. Break it off because I'm telling you, life is too short. Other tips I would say is um, what we talked about. Try to give more. I, I, I would say really. You know, just getting out there and just loving more, you know, starting with yourself. I would love yourself, become and know yourself and just try to love others. You know what I'm saying? Hang on to, you know, to, to what you do. Bless the community, you know, bless the, the less fortunate, bless people in your family. A lot of times you got to start in your household before you travel the world. You know, um, other tips I would say is uh, listen to somebody wise, find a mentor. You know, once you get with a mentor. You know, ask them questions, develop their relationship where they're always open to you. Um, yeah, you know, this is this has been a real great episode. This has been a real great podcast. A new year, a new you, you know, um, I would love for you to comment, you know, on this and let me know what some of your goals are. But, you know, it's just it's I, I feel like it's going to be a great year. You know, I feel like it's going to be a great year. I'm going to push more. It's a lot of things that I want to do. I want to start a Facebook TV show um, where I'm going to be sitting down doing some interviews and commentary and just using other people's stories to uh, bless and empower you guys. But I'm telling you, you know, really focus on the content of this podcast because I'm trying to motivate you. I'm trying to inspire you. I'm trying to, to provoke thoughts. So I want you to hear things. And when it clicks with you, share it with someone else. Try to share this podcast episode with at least four or five of your friends. At least four or five of your friends, family members, co-workers or whoever you think may need it, because I'm telling you, this is a new year. This is 2018. And I don't want to be talking New Year's Eve of 2018 going to 2019. And we're talking about you got the same goals that you had last year. We got to start chopping these trees down. You know what I'm saying? So when you think about it, just sit back and think about, OK, I'm going to apply myself. I'm going to become a new you. Not new you, but I'm going to become a new me, right? 
You know what I'm saying? And you're going to become a new you. So what you want to do is sit back, listen, write notes, get you a journal, make goals. And you know, invest in yourself and do everything that we talked about. Because I believe in you, that you can make it. 2018, you can make it. I don't care what adversity you face. I don't care whether it's sickness, whether it's death, whether it's financial woes or financial lows. I'm telling you, you can make it. Anybody under the sound of my voice know that you can make it and i believe in you and i love you guys i appreciate everything and how you're following me but it's time to wrap this podcast up and like i said i want you to just continue to believe continue to believe continue to believe and that's where it starts everything starts in the mind so you must believe right you got to see it you got to see it you got to believe it but you got to see it and that's all I got for you guys. Just reach for the stars. Land in the clouds. Love you guys. And as I always say, one love, be blessed. <laughs>